Hello there and welcome back. Well, welcome back to what is a very colourful hour, as you can see, to start <laughs> off with. And we've got the fabulous Abigail. How are you doing? I'm good, are you? I'm oh, very well, thank good, you. Very good, good. Well. And I have to say, I was excited when I checked out the schedule. And saw that well, was I me was. And I know, yeah, I like it. Um, and I love it because you've, uh, you always bring fabulous things, but you've bought a wonderful bundle of patterns. But they're not just like a pattern there are books of patterns uh, yes we've gone for new year new us okay new format a5 pattern spiral bound very nice each pattern pack you get three patterns apart from the quilt one where you get the bargello and the lap quilt but other nice. than that you get three in each pack wonderful and they're great because we haven't been um skimpy okay. what we've done is we've printed on one side nice and then on the other side you've still got a blank so you can I make like your that. notes yeah. you can exactly um, jot little, little things down exactly mm. write your shopping list you can write what sizes <laughs> what you want you all that sort of thing so you've got all the instructions in there so for example you've this one's got the reading cushion inside Lovely. and um, you've got all everything you need what you need to cut all your instructions and also, with regards to these, the, it's good size script with that good size font. Exactly. So you can kind of be working, and that like me, I've got my readers, but I've got I don't need them for distance. So if yes. I'm working on something, I don't necessarily want to have to keep picking up my glasses to read the next bit yeah. I'm going to do. I just need to be able to see it. Then. Yeah, and you can Perfect. again, you can fold these open, and they're just an easier thing to handle. I think exactly makes life easier. It certainly does. Now we've got a set up for you. So if you wanted to go for these individually, they are available. But we have got a set details of this which are at the, the bottom of your screen where you will get everything so you'll get all those fabulous projects in there so whether it's a quilt that you're going to be making potentially your first ever quilt by the way do check out we've got the most amazing pinwheels and we've only got a handful of those left so those would be perfect or maybe you're going to be making your gifts with these and there's so much scope with it oh there's loads in the main in the complete bundle you've got 11 patterns so you've got like a book here all the instructions that you okay. would get um, Per in here, so you've got everything, all full colour instructions, um, everything walks you through. All in you, one place. I mean, this is absolutely wonderful. It's such a versatile pattern. Nice. Your roll-up bag, you can change that into makeup brushes. Good point. You yeah. can make it longer for um, mm -hmm. artists. Oh, We've got oh, Matthew Palmer. Exactly. Later you you would like that. Brushes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you've got everything in there. It's huge. It's thick. You've got you've got it easy for you to use. As I said, step-by-step -step colour instructions, so you're not going to go wrong. And there's a video tutorials for a lot of these as well. So that's one thing I love about your patterns. You've got the support of the tutorials there, but good photographs, because I'm a bit yes. of a photographs girl. Me too. I'm not a words person. I'm, I'm more of a picture. Same. I'm definitely a visual learner. Mm. And I find that if I can do things step-by-step -step with somebody else, like sometimes things flummox me. Okay. Because I'm reading it and it flummoxes me. Yeah. But if I can see it, I go, right, let me got make it. mine the same great easy that's so that's what you've got with this it's a really nice little thing that you can have on your desk again you've got still got those blank pages for your notes mm -hmm. um you know we didn't want to print on both yeah. sides because we want you to have the room available to make it yours mm -hmm. write bits down like if you go wrong here mm -hmm. write that you keep going wrong there so you remind yourself every time those little pointers just to refresh exactly memory. love it now this is the way the majority you've been getting a hold of those fabulous patterns you can see you've got a 75 pound saving on this that's if you were going to go for those individual patterns as well bear in mind you've got a lot of patterns in here 11 patterns in total we tend to say about a tenner of pa patterns exactly don't we? So, yeah, yeah that, that's quite a feasible price that you can see there but you are saving 75 pounds on this more importantly you can get hold of all of them for just 22 pounds and 44 pence especially if you're a freedom member because that's delivered to your door as your first freedom and uh, first pay, um, payment should i say because of course you won't have your post and packing second payment in a month's time but you will have all 11 of these yeah. projects you'll have made a good couple already oh, by yeah. the time the second payment comes through and you're saving more than you're spending as well aren't you that's so really like uh, it's just fantastic and also it's one that you can keep in your draw mm -hmm. and you can keep referring to and it's just a it's a you know it's a lifelong thing really because of how it's presented it's going to just be i love the fact that i can open it out yes and have it flat on my desk like yeah. this and i don't need to lose my page i can put my bookmark in close it up it's a book and it's also a book that's going to fit in your sewing bag yes so if you're going off to your classes or maybe you go around to your friends and do a little bit of a sewing afternoon then you can take that with you and yes. know that you've got everything that you need you're not leaving anything behind it's all in that completely book. and for example if you were to go to your um 
local quilt shop and get you wanted to get the um, correct amount of fabric mm -hmm. on the front here so for example the roll up bag again you've got you need one flat quarter for the outer fabric one flat quarter for the inner fabric wadding and ribbon how easy so that. you can open it up it tells you exactly how much of each fabric you need so mm -hmm. you can just go right uh, oh let me see which one do I want to make this one what do I need great yeah you're going to cut into those yeah. but the basis is you need those and it's just so handy the thing I love about these as well you've got projects where you're going to be using up some of your scraps as well completely. think like a plique where you're only using a little bit of yes. fabric oh completely um, and this year might be the year that you think right I'm going to make a quilt I've been talking about it I've been thinking about yes. it yes and you give us the ability to do that. Now, obviously, we've got the Bargello um, quilt on the back, which is absolutely, I love Bargello. But Me too. Amazing. But this is a fabulous one, perhaps to cut your teeth on when you come into quilting. Absolutely. And also, I've quilted it in a way that's so easy and straightforward. You don't need any fancy equipment. You don't need any quilting rulers. You don't need anything. So you could do this as a complete novice. Complete novice. Love it. Because this is a four patch, a disappearing four patch, really easy, really simple how it's laid out. But the effect that it gives you fabulous. is absolutely fabulous. Just two different styles of fabric. Two fabrics. Couldn't be simpler. And, and, and it goes together just really Perfect. well. You're going to have a great... And also, I go through the binding as well. Yes. So if you... Um, you can, you don't have to bind your quilts mm -hmm. if you don't want to. Uh, but I go through the binding step-by-step -step instructions again so Wonderful. that I'm holding your hand. And also, if you've got questions, if you do get stuck, I have a Facebook page. You can contact me up. directly and I will reply to you Definitely. and give you my yeah. advice. There you go. And sometimes it's <laughs> sewing related. No, <laughs> 737861. Yeah. Fabulous at giving advice on cooking brownies as well, I must admit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to give the recipe away, though. OK, fair enough, then. <laughs> um, £44.88, pence. you are going to get all four of those booklets um, in that combined bundle if you are going to go for that. But, of course, you can get hold of them individually at 11 99 at the bottom of your screen if you so wish. But, of course, Abigail's bought us a lot more than just those patterns. She's bought us some pieces to inspire you. We're looking at the planner here. Now, I've heard lots about planners. People are getting very much into planners, <coughs> jotting things down. Like the patterns you were just saying, there's areas there where you can jot things down. Yeah. So this, a sewing planner, what's this all about? Then? So, basically, um, this is a sewing planner. So, I'll just open it up so you can see a little bit inside. Okay. Lick my finger, sorry about that. So you've got information pages in here. So, for instance, um, fabric sizes. You've got your colour wheel in there. Oh, so if you're out and about, you can refer to that. But you've also got your project plans. So oh, okay. you've got what your idea is. Yeah. What do I need? So your equipment Clever. list. You've got your budget. Okay. So it can get out of hand, as mm -hmm. you know, Hayley. You oh, start yes. something and you okay. get carried away. Um, work in progress completed, notes and design sketches. And again, you've got a blank page on the other side, so you can do any larger sketches that you want. You've got 20 pages of this. You've got 20 lined pages. Okay, useful. So for your shopping lists, for, mm -hmm. you know, all that sort of carry on ideas you might see when you're out and about exactly and then you've got your graph paper oh that's useful so really good for your mm -hmm. patchwork really good for um coloring in and, and designing yeah. and taking your ideas to that next level um 20 sheets of that as well so something that's going to be really handy good it comes size. with Ooh, okay. this okay, plastic right. envelope which will also fit in your patterns nice so if you want to keep everything together like it comes idea. in this and you get eight plastic my, sorry mylar eight mylar templates these so for instance brilliant. these are for your english paper piecing or your patchwork if you wanted to make a patchwork quilt you've got the square there for you perfectly cut um yes. really useful to get you on your journey and again will sit nicely in your little folder very very useful tools to have and you are getting all of that for less than 13 pounds i know <gasps> That oh, no. is amazing. That is brilliant, Valley. Perfect. If you're just getting started with your sewing, maybe you've had a hand-me-down sewing machine. Maybe you've thought, right, I'm getting it out of the loft. I'm getting it out of yeah. the garage. I'm getting it from behind the sofa. And you're wanting to start creating, then this is the way to do it. That planner Sorry, is a brilliant it. way. You can't keep it. <laughs> Um, a brilliant way for you to actually make those notes as you're out and back. Instead of back of envelopes, instead yes. of those sticky notelets that aren't always sticky. Yeah, and you you know, you we leave things mm. here, there and everywhere. And it's great to keep an eye on where your projects are, how far yeah. along you are. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, OK, we're never going to finish everything we start because we don't really, do we? Yeah. But it's UFOs. good. You've, exactly. You've got it there for you. You have indeed. There you go. If you fancy getting hold of your planner, beautiful design, as you can see there. 
full of lots of useful elements in there. And I have to say, if you're like me and you've got notes everywhere, and sometimes can't even understand what the note is Same. when you come across <laughs> it, then this is the definitely <laughs> the way to do it. 846523, just £12.99. Incidentally, if you add in that and alongside those patterns, you're looking at extra £6.50. pence. So not much to add in to get yourself organised for 2020. Now, I gave you a little tease earlier on those pinwheels. Oh, oh my goodness, these are beautiful. <coughs> They've been incredibly popular, but we are now down to the last handful or so of these. Yes. Abigail, these are beautiful. I keep calling you Abigail, don't That's okay. I? Like you've been told off, it's, a, it's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> very formal. I've been called worse, Hayley. Um, <laughs> these are, they are my They goodness. are beautiful. <gasps> They're all Tilda, okay. so there's no added in. There's no planes or anything like that added in. They're all yes. Tilda. Oh. So they're all your two and a half inch strips. There's 20 strips. So there's four colours, five of each colour. So if you wanted to make yourself a small bar oh, jello, you, nice. can, you totally yeah. can do. If you wanted to get all three and make a larger bar mm -hmm. jello, then again, you can. They're, each strip is 44 inches wide. So it's Beautiful. from selvage to selvage. Okay. So think about your binding as well. Gorgeous, You've got yeah. enough there definitely to do binding on a quilt. Um, two and a half inch strips, as you know, are incredibly popular. Oh, very useful. And if you go on to a search engine and you type mm -hmm. in projects for, with two and a half inch strips, there's loads out there that beautiful. you can do. But these colours, aren't they just they're something else? They're absolutely amazing. And they're tonally correct. That's yes. the key thing because they've kind of got that antique look across all of them. Yes. Or that tone across all of them. So you know, if you take one of those greens alongside one of those peachy tones, not a problem exactly and, and incidentally when you do check out some of these some of them have got very similar prints as you can see there so definitely do consider going for all of them and of course add them into your flexi order if you wanted to pink is the one that's proven to be the most popular that's the one at the moment that we've got least stock of so if that is the one that you're wanting to get hold of please get hold of it quickly we're about 15 minutes into the hour that will not last the hour. I know my fabrics, and I know you as customers. You will be buying that one. <laughs> That's and my favourite too. Seventeen ninety nine, so affordable. Yeah, yeah, definitely go for those. Now ribbons and ribbons galore. Ribbons galore. Oh, these! <laughs> my goodness, you've got an array in here. Yeah, so you're getting one hundred and forty five grams in each bag. Wow. Um, there is a, a huge variety. You'll Gorgeous. probably get two or three um, strips. They're just under a metre really each. Okay. Uh, you'll probably get a couple that are duplicates. But um, really, I mean, you, as crafters, we use ribbon in so many oh, different projects. It time. really, you know, think of your Christmas, saving yeah. these for Christmas or... Easter or whatever it is. Bunting and things like bunting. that. Having the, these kind of ribbons for your bunting is amazing. You've got woven ribbons, you've got satin ribbons, you've Gorgeous. got Queen of Hearts, you've got Best of British. Beautiful. You've got stacks in there, 145 grams, which actually Gorgeous. is a huge amount of ribbon. It's, it's light well. stuff. <laughs> well, I was just wondering with this, it's, it's like you've actually got a ribbon stitched on top of a ribbon there. I thought yeah. it was just kind of glitter that had been stuck in place, but it's Yeah, not. it's lovely, isn't wow. it? Wow. Fabulous. Brilliant value Handy. for me. £9.99. Again, very affordable way for you to get hold of your bag of ribbons. 145, um, 145, 145 grams. That's just put a number in front of me and I just read it out. Um, um, like a performing seal. £9.99. 008. Except I can't catch a ball on my nose. Oh, can you we no. could have tried that. Yeah, I'll have a go. <laughs> <laughs> Keep working at it. Now, if you fancy getting hold of any of the goodies, you might want to check these out before you check out your basket. These are beautiful. Now, you're going to get two half metres. Yes. Both of these. Yes, both <gasps> of those in a wow. nice little bundle. Um, so I've made the, um, I'm going to just get it. I've made the tote bag. That is a beautiful bag. Out of the Oriental. Oh, nice. And I love this. Um, if you follow my Facebook page, you'll know that I've also made my stair tidy out of this. Yes. And my stair tidy lives on my stairs. Yeah. And it's beautiful to open my door and see those colours. Yeah. Really nice is. Nice happy fabric. <laughs> yeah, it is. And it's a lovely lightweight denim as well. I'm just going to put it back now. No problem at all. Um, and it's perfect if you do want to work against a lining fabric. You've got so much choice in here. Obviously, you've got that cool kind of chambray denim backdrop, but then you've got greens and pinks and reds in there as yeah, well. Yeah, dark grey. If, yeah. if you love your grey like I know it's really popular tones in there as well beautiful but think of your summer hats yes. little girls dresses yeah. um oh there's you know um, there's clutch bags hair, yes. Hair oh yes oh, those lovely ones with the knots on yes. now 
that would look Everywhere amazing. Everywhere like those, yeah. yeah. Um, and brilliant value for money. £12.99 is a good size pieces with regards to those. And you're getting two of them, um, a half metre of each of those. So if you fancy getting hold of them, then please do so. Three nine 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 four six. Very popular item as well. Abby's fabrics always are, because she knows quality. She's, she's a sewer just like you and I, so she's not going to bring anything she wouldn't use herself. That's true. So if you're wanting those, do make sure you get hold of them quickly, and you'll find them on the website. Obviously, on the website, you've got not only these fabrics, but you've got everything that we've been chatting about. Now, if there's anything on there that you, you want to have a little uh, kind of inquire about, something you want to ask questions, you know how you can get in touch. Studio at achanda.com. There are some elements on there that we've not touched on during this hour. Those boutiques as well, they've been proving very popular. Um, oh, they're gone. Oh, I liked them as well. Wasn't quick enough, obviously. <laughs> but yes, if you're wanting those pinwheels, those are going to be the next thing that disappear, particularly the pink option with regards to those. So yeah, if you like those, do get hold of them. And of course, that printed denim as well. Absolutely beautiful. I do like a hibiscus flower, I must admit. Always makes me feel of holidays and warmer, warmer climes. Oh, yes. Um, pop anything into your basket, check your baskets out. And don't forget, if you are going for that pattern bundle, you have got the ability to spread the whole of your order over to payments because you can't, of course you've got a flexi order on that one as well what are we up to then my dear so what i did want to say which i forgot to say was when you get your complete pattern pack your spiral binding will be slightly larger because when i've gone to um maneuver this around and use it and all that i noticed that it kept popping oh, off i see you've got a lot of pages so you'll in just there, yeah. get yeah it'll just be slightly wider okay that's and fair actually enough. works better because you there's no tension <laughs> against it makes sense um, so just so you know there's going to be a slight a difference there. you're still going to get everything you know doesn't it matters not oh now nah. something i need to tell you before we get into the throws it's sobby no. sorry it's sobby <laughs> sorry sorry i'll be jumping in there as i usually do all right those pinwheels got a little bit of news with regards to those the pink ones Fastest finger first with regards to that one. Go, so if go, you've go, got go. your eye on that one, <laughs> don't leave it to the end of the hour. Um, and it will go. I am pretty sure of that. I mean, we're only, what, 20 minutes past the hour. So yeah, it's not going to be there at the end of it. So, yeah, get it now. Right. So reading cushion yes tell me about this what's this i love reading cushions they're really popular but what i'm doing different in the pattern is i'm giving you the um the letters and characters oh, I see. so let me bring out the pattern pack and let me find it so you can see <coughs> excuse me oh there we go, straight to. so what you're getting is the instructions you're getting your characters lovely now these characters are for personal use only okay okay what i would recommend is that you get because <gasps> lovely stay away from superheroes and oh those gosh, sort of yes, things. Yeah. get animals yes. and, and ones that you can duplicate especially mm -hmm. if you draw your own think yeah. of the craft fair you can just flood your stall with all of those okay and but the the thing that you're getting is your alphabet now this comes to you back to front brilliant so of course then you We've can applique all done it. <laughs> yes oh, isn't it frustrating as well you think oh i'm doing really well here no but it's coming to you back to front you've got Lovely. the whole alphabet you can then do all the names that you want to do Perfect. no bother at all so we're going to do a little bit of um, reading cushion okay so I'm just going to close that up. I've ruined that, Hayley. I've been oh, yanking on worry, it. Don't just, worry. Well, I was coming through earlier on. There's a lot in there. I there's have stacks. to say, loads of patterns there's in there. There's stacks in mm. there. Uh, it's, a really good, it's a really good pack, actually. Okay. So I'm just going to pop that. Um, Joe from the Mill Shop Online, I've got his um, double-sided. Oh, it's brilliant stuff. Yes, it is. Yes, yes the, um, the fusible um, backing. It's just get, so you, useful. It's like heat fuse, isn't it? Yes, exactly. So you'll get all your dimensions in the pack, and I'm just going to stitch this pocket together because okay. I do the pocket first because when I then lay it on the front that denotes then where I put my letters and my character okay you don't want to put your character on the main first without putting your pocket on because you might be covering it yeah so good just point I always say do the pocket first mm -hmm. I'll just give that a quick stitch lovely and then you've got um, scope as to where you're actually going to lay everything out especially if you've got a big character mm -hmm. or a long name you'll yeah. want to you know I love this fabric it's almost like like ocean fabric it is, isn't, isn't it, it? Yeah, it it's is. like the, the break of the Excuse waves on there i just got to oh, okay though i've just praised his product and now it's getting in my way are you tripping <laughs> over it <laughs> That, my fault, not Joe's fault. Yeah. Um, right, so, <coughs> excuse me. I do like to do a contrasting lining on this pocket. Okay. Uh, with this one, I've got a black lining. Very nice. And I think that works really nicely. Um, I made all these um, for Christmas, not Christmas just gone, Christmas before for my nieces and nephews. Oh, I bet they were thrilled. They were. And I put in, so Finley, he got um, a shark book 
um, and Livia got unicorn books. Um, my nephew William, he got dinosaur books. So Lovely. it works really nicely as a gift. Good pictures. Love to see things. Well, everybody likes to see something with their name on, especially if it's an unusual name. Yes, because you can't always find those in the sh in the shops. If you're buying different bits and pieces, can your books and things like that don't always have kids' names? I failed uh, there. Unusual. Oh, do, what happened? Well, because I thought this was boutique, so I just did it either any side I liked. Oh. It's not boutique. We're doing a bit of unsewing. Yes, it's a bit of. I've, I was telling Reverse everyone. Sewing. Yeah, right. <laughs> I was telling everyone in the last hour. Mm -hmm. These are wallpaper scissors. Oh, I see. Okay, and they're fair great. Enough. They're really great. But if you need some decent scissors yes. for not much money, wallpaper scissors. Oh, okay. They're really brilliant, and they've got a long because they're long. They've got a long stretch on and there, and they're sharp too. Yeah. So we'll pretend that I did that right. Okay. <laughs> right. So I'm just going to place that down there. Now, what I always do is I'll just pin this into place okay and then I know what area I've got to work with fabulous so just like so as you can oh, as you can see that's what good point I would yeah end up with that for your placement now that would be right though yeah that's <laughs> so that's what you'd end up with but for the letters now it's important because they're the wrong way round. right uh, okay where's my pen gone oh I don't know I'm not sure it's gone. The pocket, it's gone it? somewhere. Uh, no, Any, whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, so, for your letters, what you would be doing would you be getting a heat and bond or your fuses? Fusey there's loads boxes. of different names out there, isn't it? Yeah, there's all sorts <laughs> yeah, of different there's names. There's so many, uh, but I do find this one particularly good. Um, I actually, when Joe was here, it was one of his first shows, and he was using it, and I. I very cheekily went over and I said, do you mind if I tried that? Mm -hmm. He said, yeah, of course. And he gave me a full bit. And that, that's it then for me. It's brilliant because I've, I've used quite a variety of different companies and some of them, they kind of start melting before you actually, well, you get the iron close and the resi uh, resi residual heat, is that the right yes. phrase? Kind of starts melting it before you need it yes. to melt so as well. Oh, we have got a pen for you oh, if you need a pen. Oh, Molly. Thank you. Thank you, Molly. So... Um, look, we'll choose a letter that's actually around the wrong way. A wouldn't be very useful. Um, so when you've got this, obviously you place it down. You want the tacky side or the, the rough side facing down okay. so that you can draw on this side. That's why it's designed like that, so you can draw on this okay. side. So you would be drawing your letter, which I obviously won't do, but you, you, know, you get the idea. It, yeah. um, and what you want to do is when you come to cut this out, give yourself a decent margin. So cut so don't here. Too frugal. Don't cut against those lines because when you then go to adhere that onto your fabric, you're going to have to cut along that line again. Okay. What's the point in that? It just makes your life difficult. So you might as well give yourself a nice border, mm -hmm. then you're going to adhere it onto your fabric, Okay. then cut along that line. Makes then sense. you've got a perfect line. Yes. You, there's no messing around, you've got perfect line. And also as well, it's going to support your fabric as you're cutting those finer details. Because some of those letters, lots of letters, have kind of got a hole in the middle, which I believe has actually got a name to it. We were talking to Lou Sims about that, but we oh, never did decide it? what the little hole is. You know, in like a letter A or in a letter B, you've got the little hole. Apparently it's got a name. I would never have known that. I'm, I'm standing here like, oh, it will come to me, but no, I wouldn't. <laughs> no. It's just a hole. It's just a hole. <laughs> so, um, what I've done is I've just pre-prepared my Lily's... Um, because uh, it's a short name okay but what's good is if you use a pin um, mm -hmm. if it's really a lot of that just fell off mm. uh, I haven't used enough heat um, a lot of these really do grab okay um, so I'm just gonna get that back on okay and I tend to rip up rip a hole in the the paper lining right and then it's a lot easier to peel off Lovely. Um, of course, this is where your mat comes in very, very useful. I don't know if we've got these in stock at the moment, though, have we? I don't think no, we've we got the 12 by 12, but we, I think we've got the 6 by 8. Which would be good if you were doing smaller oh, yeah, pieces completely. like these. Yeah? yeah, absolutely. Is that one? No, I need to do that one a bit more, too. It's the L's. Attack of the L's. <laughs> So yeah, so everyone got one of these ma uh, one of these cushions. Good idea. And Seb, I made him one for this Christmas because he didn't get one last Christmas. He's very cross about it. Oh dear. Um, and I did do a superhero character because 
It was just for Seb for home. And also, what you can do is if you, sometimes you get fabrics, don't you, that have actually got superheroes on there. So you can actually using the um, yes. the, the heat and fuse that Tim Joe brings to us. You can actually use that, and it won't fray the edges. It's very clever. It, stuff. Yes, it's brilliant, isn't mm. it? Really good stuff. So you'll peel off your backing. Um, now I like to do um, a running stitch round or, or free okay. motion. Now with these, because they're very blocky letters, mm -hmm. you can just use your normal foot and just go nice start and, and stop, start and stop, easy. You Gorgeous. can free motion on them if you want to. Nice. You can do a lovely satin stitch on there. Could you hand stitch them you if you wanted to? You could completely hand stitch them. You could completely hand stitch this whole thing. Yeah. Um, they're just easy straightforward take it as far as you want to take it for instance I personally think if I um, had a, a grandparent or an elder relative in like a residential home mm -hmm. or something like that having one of these but with florals on lots of images yeah. really beautiful and not just for reading I mean my mum bless her um, she turns 90 in the summer and she's in a, a kind of a little retirement flat and literally her, her life is on the sofa. Yes. Everything is there. The remote control, a <laughs> cough suite, a hearing, all those bits that she needs are literally within arm's reach. But the trouble is that they tend to go down the side of the sofa. Yes. So until somebody actually pops around, they can't get those bits out. Yeah. With this, it doesn't have to be a reading book, does it? TV you could controls. have your TV remote in yeah. there. You could have all those bits TV and guide. pieces, your pen close to hand, all the things that you need in those pockets there. Um, and then it's comfy as well. Just okay. coming out with all the ideas there. I was like, what, what, what else? What else? <laughs> but it's it's true it's it's yes it, you can have them for children yeah yes absolutely but they're also good for other things you don't need to put the name on you might want to take that name and put it on a placemat well you might want to put a, a different phrase on there or something completely like that. oh yeah you could yeah. you could home sweet home. home exactly yeah, whatever, whatever you, you want like. but you've got that um alphabet backwards for the applique it's so useful mm -hmm. and i refer to mine so often because i like to put lots of names on things <laughs> so I go to it every time and a lot of the times I forget and I just draw them and I go oh no it's easy it's easy backwards. if you're doing it yourself you need that them um, letter also felt's a nice fabric to work with Ooh, with the pleat yes. as well and fleece as well because they don't necessarily fray as yeah, well yeah completely nice completely things. so you'll be peeling off your backing and then you're ironing that on and then okay. and then it's just a case of doing the same for the character so um the unicorn for example Let's see if I can. No, not too far in. Not as lucky this time, right? No, you opened see. it. Oh. Bang on the right page. There you go. You just got a little few dinosaurs. It's like it, meant, it was meant <laughs> to be. So, again, this is backwards because I like to have the unicorn going that way. Okay. Uh, if you wanted it to go the other way, mm -hmm. um, you could probably see through it and put it up against the window. Good idea. No problem. Um, on the picture. Could be a horse as well. Could yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. On the picture for the front of this pattern, you've actually got a Diplodocus. Oh, But I've given you a Tyrannosaurus instead. Oh, okay. Uh, because apparently that's better. Oh. According to the young folk in my I life. I wouldn't know. Diplodocus, no. Oh, not trendy. T Rex, yes. Oh, I see. So, oh, uh, Molly's yeah, Molly getting in agreement there. <laughs> Who'd have uh, thought? It's the little arms, I think. Oh, is so it? Like okay. the little, I don't know. Um, I was going to do an impression. I've re I didn't. Um, but yes. Not tall enough. No, no, that's true. <laughs> Neither am I frightening enough. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so those are for personal use, and it does say that in the pattern as That's well. So enough, is that one they yeah, exactly. But the actual making of the cushion, the concept of the cushion, we're able to make that and sell Completely. that. Completely, not a problem. And the letters it's as well, you, the, that font, you can do that. You okay. can go, you can go to town with that. And I think um, for a Christmas, oh, Christmas, that's not the word. For a school fete, things like that, mm -hmm. these would be great ones because you can actually personalise these while the while the family's are going off good point it yeah, takes seconds nice to easy. do that um, but of course if you go for that bumper bundle the details are on your screen there it's not just about that reading cushion you can get fabulous little projects like this but yeah. again you could personalize that if you wanted oh, to completely. with the lecture that's, that's a quilt as you go um hot water bottle cover as well so you also get instructions of how to make a larger one nice and you can take that onto have you seen those long water bo hot water bottles now no. oh they're crazy they're just a long long hot water bottle oh, no. No, 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 bo body those. bottles or something oh, yeah oh, right. we'd never get me out of bed if there's one of those yeah i would be totally <laughs> honestly i need now, one this is nice and this is teaching people um how to work with the hexagon perhaps from the planner to exactly. start with yes and then build up maybe using those pinwheel rolls that we were looking at to Completely. build up that depth around yeah it. again another quilt as you go project i love this i'm really into my hexagons i think this is stunning i beautiful. think also you could do this in just one color and it would look beautiful nice. christmas spring summer mm -hmm. 
a wedding perhaps if you wanted it in whites and laces yeah. and just scrap buster it's, mm -hmm. to it's totally scrap buster because mm -hmm. that's two and a half inch strips it's just that center one and again for the instructions it tells you like I'll, I'll get it because it's a it's a good one to show you oh there we are look I nearly went right to it <laughs> oh, that's me that's me um, it tells you on the front, so you need a fat quarter for the backing and the hexagon center. Okay. You need a fat quarter for the binding. You need five times two and a half inch strips in various colors, and then the wadding of your choice. And I'm guessing that once you've learned that concept, if you wanted to go larger and larger and larger, you could do. Yes, uh, or, and you could also, because these are quilt as you go, um, you could then attach another one on. Nice. So you idea. could do a satin stitch, join them together, and mm. go. Go big. I love it. You're getting all of these patterns. And then when you've got into the kind of the grips of your quilting, how about the Bargella? I mean, this is beautiful. Again, this is one of those patterns that's included in that bumper bundle that we've just been chatting about. Most people are going for the bumper bundle. Why do you think that is? I think that it's great value. Yes. Yeah. And it's a great point, thing to yeah. have on your, on your desk and to refer to because a lot of us, when we go into our um, craft shops and things like that, they've got all the fabric we could possibly want. Yes. But there really isn't any inspiration there for what you could do with it, mm -hmm. apart from maybe a bit of patchwork. Yes. So this is a great thing to have. And even if you if you think to yourself, oh, I really like um, four projects, it's a great one to keep because yes. one day you'll come across it. You go, ah, oh, today's the day I'm going to make that one. That's it. And he's as it. Yeah. And you've got up. this exact quilt that you can make. Gorgeous. And yeah, I haven't finished it because. I don't. It's <laughs> always a work in progress with me. That's fine. But I love it. Gorgeous. I love it. It makes me so happy. You can use all different colours. You can blend. I've gone for a step in the colour. Mm -hmm. But you can go for tones all the way mm -hmm. through. You can go down and then up again. Is it as complicated as it looks? Oh, it's so easy. Really? Oh, Bargello is easy peasy. Okay. Because all you're doing is sewing your strips together. Okay. You then take. So, so for example, you've got your strips of your um, pinwheel. Okay. You're stitching them all together into a long rectangle. Right. You're then stitching the bottom to the top so you've got a tunnel. Like a tube, yeah. yeah. You're needling off one end and then you're cutting it in increments of size. Oh, going I up see. in size and then down in size. Right. Then you're opening the seam up in okay. different points. Right. So that when you lay them out, you've got this Lovely, effect. Lovely, yes. It's one day this took me. No. One day. <gasps> My goodness. And honestly, I think I could have backed and bound it in the same day also. Getting that impact look. Yeah, and, and actually I was a bit annoyed with myself because I was enjoying it. Yeah. So I carried on and then I thought, oh, I could have actually... Yeah, like wait, it. I could have dragged this out a bit and longer. And it's one of those ones, when you look on the screen, you see that natural wave that you've got in there. That's oh, all lovely. down to those increments that Abby was yeah. telling us about. So and and, yes. and this, this exact one, the increments for this are in the plan. Mm -hmm. In the plan, You can also um, take it for yourself and, and maybe you like the smaller um, smaller um, cuts mm -hmm. and you're not so keen on the bigger ones yeah. you can go bigger you can go to say this point and then go smaller again yes good point you don't have to go all the way up to this is probably three and a half inches um, or three inches you don't have to go that far yeah, that's fair it's enough. up to you and not, also if you were to if you wanted to take then this up yeah it's then you would undo the you go back up undoing okay if that makes sense. It all makes it's all sense when you get the it's instructions. In and that's what it's all about. The details <laughs> are on your screen there. Um, 73786. If you want to take advantage of these, now is a perfect opportunity while we share something with you. Check this out. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. FlexiOrder, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. 
certainly does. And especially when you're going for a bumper bundle, um, I like the patterns that we've been chatting about. And the details are at the bottom for that bumper bundle. But we also appreciate, or Abby appreciates, you might not want to go for everything. You might want to go for individual patterns. And that's why we've got the details on your screen. 11 99 very affordable way for you to get hold of any one of these. So are you going to want to create that fabulous reading cushion that we just looked at? Quilt as you go, um, a, a bottle cover as well, as well as that hexagon placement. Maybe Bargello is going to be your thing. Maybe it's the tote bag that you're going to be creating. Or maybe you are into your knitting. Totally fabulous. I like that. But this is the project that I want to have a look at. You've got your table runner and your placemat. Now, of course, what you're going to be doing is actually creating those blocks. But then once you've got a block, you can go anywhere with it. It could be a single block where you can just be creating a placemat, as you can see there. Very easy, very simple. That might be the way that you try that out. But then you might think, hang on a minute, I'm going to make a set of six of those. I'm going to do a table runner. I'm actually going to make a quilt using that block. You could be making a king size quilt from that initial block that you have created using that pattern. That is the beauty of having a pattern and the tuition of someone as fabulous as our Abby. She takes it back, strips it right the way back, makes it as simple as simple can be. So you can take that information on board, understand why you are doing things and the reason why you're putting them together in a certain way way and then you build in those stepping stones to take you from that single block potentially to a large king size quilt and you can do that for just 11 pounds and 99 pence one of those patterns to start with to be fair the majority of you are going for the bumper bundle the details of which are at the bottom of the screen and then of course as our lovely leone explained to you that opens up your flexi order which means you can add any of those other goodies into your basket as well so for the time being if you want the individuals 317713 that's your item number 11.99 for each one of those that you choose to go for or at the bottom of the screen where you get that bumper bo um, book with everything in there, £44.88. and pence. Just to reiterate, if you're going for the bumper bundle, they all come in one book together rather than your four individuals, just so as you're aware of that. Now, what else can we tempt you with? Well, how about getting yourself organised? If you are like me and you jot down notes, and I do it all the time, I jot down a note, and it could be just the next day or two days later, I come back to it and I'm like, first of all, I've got to read my own handwriting because I've scribbled it down. And then also understand and decipher what I meant by that note in the first place. By having your planner, it gives you the ability to lay everything out clean and simple and makes it nice and easy. Now you can see here, You've got your references with regards to your fabrics. That's something that's very useful to have close at hand, especially if you are out shopping for your fabrics and you're not entirely sure. You know it's a fat quarter, but then a fat quarter could be different sizes. It might be the equivalent of a fat quarter that you're wanting to use because you were going to cut the fat quarter up. Just gives you an idea and a guideline. So when you see that fabric that you like the look of and it's not necessarily in that particular format, you can figure it out or get the person to help you figure that out. Within here, you've got the ability to make your project plan. Now this is something, sometimes when you're working on a larger project you need to take time to jot down everything you need. Might be that rather than you taking your uh, patterns with you, um, you might just jot down, I need such and such in whatever colour, fat quarter in pink, a fat quarter in um, red, I need um, three strip rolls to do my binding, different things like that. And also it gives you your budget and that's something that if you are working within a budget for a particular project, maybe it's a bespoke project that you're doing for somebody, then you need to make sure you're staying within that budget little sketches you might have ideas as you're going out and about things that you wanted to add to your project but then you have got the scope to add at the end here you've got notes where you can be creating with those and also your grid there for laying out and creating your patterns maybe then you've got your pieces your mylar pieces are fabulous because you've got different sizes and different geometric shapes you've got things like your squares there so if you are wanting to square off a patch to make sure that they are all uniform then you can do you've also got your smaller ones there if you are looking at doing a smaller piece and also if you are wanting to lay one within the, the other maybe you're going to do a little bit of quilt as you go then you can do quite easily with those your triangles you've got your three different sizes of triangles there it could be mini bunting that you're doing with these it could be that you're putting them together to create different shapes obviously these two different sizes but when you cut your fabrics you know what I mean then you've got your hexagons if you're doing your tiny English paper piecing then you can do that quite easily or take those larger ones and create as you go with these really is a fabulous bundle and you are getting everything mylar pieces and your planner as well as your storage wallet all for just 12.99 really is a fabulous little way and I love the way that it's clear so you can see exactly what's in there as you go um, um, 846523 now 
pinwheels. I need to tell you about the pinwheels as well. I've stepped away from Abby, so um, we should get herself ready for her next demo. We'll be popping back there in the next few moments, but this is the time for you to get hold of your Tilda strip pinwheels. You've got three choices with regards to these. $17.99 being your price, and they all very, very popular, very popular. Limited quantities of stock available for you now. Gorgeous greens, as you can see, there's so many colours that you can pick out from here. Peach tones in there, minty greens in there, deeper teals within that design. Again, gorgeous colours, gorgeous prints, but some of these prints work across the fabric. Can you see how those two are the same there? So, of course, you could use those alongside each other if you wanted to. Really is a fabulous quality pinwheel um, collection, as you can see there. So, you've got your greens. Ever popular a pink, if you're wanting to get hold of your pink, then you can do bright cerises in there, vintage star tones in there as well. Absolutely beautiful. And the final one that you've got more of your kind of peachy orangey tones um, again they all work so well together um, you've got elements of your orange within your green one there so those are naturally going to work together and of course the pink featuring as well so to be honest they will go all the way across of course the beauty is it's tilted fabric so if you do need to go for larger pieces then you know you can actually go and find that fabric to work alongside your strip rolls Traditional width, so you've got your two and a half inches with those, and there's a whole host of different projects you can create with those, including some of those projects that we were looking at just a few moments ago. Treat yourself to those. Tilda fabric, absolutely incredible, and a beautiful set, as you can see there. $17.99, whichever of those three you choose to go for. Not going to be disappointed with those at all. Same with the ribbons. This is a bumper bundle. With these, you've got all sorts of different ribbons that are going to be coming to you. Might be that you're getting your wider ribbons, as you can see. Might be some of those skinnier ribbons, some designer ribbons within here. Some might that you've got some um, different phrases, as you can see there, um, interwoven or printed onto these. Really is a vast array, but a brilliant value bundle at £9.99. You've got 145 grams worth in there. You've got burlap style ribbons in there with a stitch glitter ribbon on top. That's not stuck in place. That's not like, like a um, going to come off on your hands or anything. It's actually a ribbon that has been put together through stitching. And again, a really nice array of ribbons. There are loads to be playing with like that. 008312. Now, before we head back and see Abby, let me tell you about these fabrics. Oh, these are gorgeous. Now, I'm going to open one of these pieces up because we didn't have a look at this. Really good size pieces. So, if you were thinking of making cushion covers with these quite easily, you can take that triangle, square that off, and there you go. You're looking at probably at least three cushion fronts. I probably would use a plane with these to maximise that print. So, bear that in mind. Across the two pieces of fabric, you could be making six cushion fronts with this for $12.99. Quite easily incorporating a green or maybe some denim, maybe with these as well. Really nice pieces. So, of course, you've got your two half metres. Coming to you for just £12.99, beautiful quality. And of course, you've got your hibiscus flowers on the one that we were just looking at. And kind of like your cherry blossom on your other there, as you can see, your oriental. £12.99, £399, at £946. You are going to get both of those. So if you fancy those, you need those item numbers, 399 at 946 Website's a place to go. You'll find them on there. Lots of other goodies on there, some of which have sold out, unfortunately. So just to warn you, if you see something that you like the look of, especially those those pinwheels you need to be quick do not miss out on anything there I had to say goodbye to those fat eights there as you can see I got my eye on those did like the look of those gorgeous blues but they've gone we can't talk about those but of course your pattern packs as your individuals or your bumper complete collection are still available there as are the planner kit as well nice little bundle to go for um, so yeah whichever you fancy popping into your basket make sure you check your basket out in a timely fashion I love this idea so just one of yeah. those projects again it is and it's something that you could do as a quick gift mm. for somebody um, I made one for my auntie for Christmas I, I got her a secret Santa um, so she got one of these and it, think of the, the colors that people like you, again you could do your makeup brushes you could do your paint brushes nice if you're idea. going on a course mm. for the day and you wanted to take them in there yeah. I, I cut my ribbon wrong That's okay. just just an idea. but um, other than that it's a great project nice. that you've got the scope to have it as it is because it fits you 
kitchen it's in needles nice. in it beautifully yeah but you've also got the ability to change it up you can make it shorter for your makeup brushes exactly mm. and, and longer so if you've got a huge selection mm. you could do that you could That's add in your you could cloth and, wider, yeah. yeah completely so again you, and you could add in your wipeable fabric so if you were going to use the inks and, and all yeah. that stuff you can pop them in there no bother beautiful there you go that's just one of those projects I within that. that bumper bundle that we've got there really nice pretty fabrics i like that yes. good choice of fabrics as well really cute anyway it's not about that because that's not what we're making what are we up to well i just wanted to show you um quite an in-depth look at the pictures that you get as a step-by-step -step. okay because i think it's important to you for you to see the quality of the photograph and how you, it, you follow it um, okay. this is an example this is the quilt as you go hot water bottle cover um, and i just wanted you to see how many pictures you get so you that's my goodness it's literally so every it's, step it's every step it's all for you there it, it keeps going and and this can be adapted for any size hot water bottle yes as well, it can can't it? Yeah. you've got I've taken pictures of the steps that I would personally struggle with okay the things like for instance where it says top stitch I've not put a picture in because yes. top stitch you don't want a picture top of a top stitch, stitch. Mm -hmm. or um, now stitch with a quarter of an inch seam allowance again you don't want to see that but you might want to see that when I've laid the two pieces at the back together I've laid the front bit first right so for example here I've laid the front bit over the <coughs> sorry I've laid the top bit over the front bit first and okay. then I've laid the bottom bit over Makes so sense. things like that you will want to see and you want if you want to do it exactly how I've done it then that's, that's important because when you come to turn things inside out and that's when you see the exactly in there. what I would recommend for the hot water bottle cover is use a wadding rather than a foam okay. I've used a foam with that and I found it too rigid yeah there can be a little bit fighty yes exactly and uh, I instantly thought to myself oh that's not right but Think about, um, so for example, my son Jaden, he would like a thin wadding mm -hmm. because he loves the heat. Yeah. He loves the heat. Mm -hmm. Whereas I made one of these for my nanny Jean at Christmas, cat fabric, and I did a thicker wadding yeah. because she's going to have it on her knees for longer, yes. but she might not necessarily feel that, that heat's coming through. Yeah. So it's up to you what wadding you choose. Right. Just don't use a foam wadding. Okay. Use a flexible, yeah. malleable one. That's you're a good gonna, word. You've got a small area there that you're turning turning things through it can be tricky can't they yes but then it's fine too, yeah so there's no point don't make it difficult for yourself that's what i say um what are we up to then hexagon placements oh okay right quilt as you go nice. i've taken the um template from the sewing planner okay you do get a template in the back of the pattern book so you can draw that out cut it out whatever you like but i find this one you know. Well, I think it's, you can use it over and over again, aren't you? Well, so, yeah. exactly. And also, if you're going for um, accuracy, mm -hmm. and if you wanted to make a lot of these and join them all together, your Mylar template really is um, very useful. Okay. So I'm just going to draw around this. So that's my template. I'm going to cut this out with my wallpaper scissors. I love this because it's literally, as you look at this, you, you could never have stitched... A project before and Abigail's showing you exactly how to do it, how you create your template um, how you create your, your hexagon um, and then what all the different stages of what you need to do yes um, and really easy and um, it, it is straightforward and it's one of those ones where you can take it as far as you want to take it mm. if you want to do it as I've done it um, and follow this in follow the steps step by step then yes absolutely if you wanted to add more together if you wanted to do it smaller more and tiny mm -hmm. you can do it if you wanted to do it huge go for it um, so you what you've got is you've got the basis and then it's up to you it's, it's just that first initial step isn't it? it is um, so you're when you're doing quilt as you go your first piece is the only piece unless you've got a different pattern happening elsewhere it starts face up Oh, okay. All your other pieces start face down because you're flipping them over. Does it have to be a plain fabric? No. Oh, okay. No, no. Any fabric you like. Mm -hmm. I just like the plain because I like that pop. Yes. That's just personal preference. Okay. Uh, but what you need to do, I nearly didn't, but you need to adhere your large hexagon okay. onto your backing fabric because this is quilt as you go. Okay. So you need that um, on there already. I love quilt as you go. It's just, just so easy, it's so it? easy, and it's so satisfying. Mm -hmm. um, it's together so quickly. Yes, it really is, and you think to yourself, "Wow, I, that's quick. That was good. I, I enjoyed that." So, placing your hexagon on, you would need to pin it. Okay. Or you can um, 
Give it a spray. Give it a spray if you want to, but I'll just pin it like so. Then you've got all your measurements for this this one, mm -hmm. exactly what size strips you need to go out. So okay. we start with the smaller strip and I always start at the top and you need to line up your corner. So hopefully you can see that corner there. Oh, yeah. look, at, look at that shot. Oh, that's our Andy. Oh. He's good. Hello. Look at that. So um, your top corner, you need to line up with this corner here. Okay. And you want this excess here. And you're going to stitch quarter of an inch to the end. Oh, so you don't trim it off. Nope. Do you explain that end. in the instructions? Though? Yes. That's good because I'll have forgotten by the time Absolutely. I get this Absolutely. So just pin this in. Oops. Pin. Go on, pin. You can do it. <laughs> there we are. So, yes, yeah, so quarter inch all the way to the end. Okay. And your pieces will all be the same length so that when you go to each end, on the reverse, your quilt, your stitch is the same. Okay. Like there. So we'll stitch that one. <laughs> you don't need the sound effects, though, of the... <laughs> <laughs> You don't need to do that. That's not as optional. Okay, optional extra. You can make yeah, the noise of your machine. That's not in the again. pattern. <laughs> <laughs> um, so a quarter of an inch all the way to the end. I'm just going to move that because I'm going to knock it off. And I would like to apologise for my sniffing. I know it's annoying. So all the way to the end. Um, you can do a tiny weeny back stitch. Okay. Take this off here. And don't forget, if you are going for the individuals, this particular one for um, the Quiltish Go project, the placemat, you can see there at the bottom there, um, you've got your reading cushion also in here. You've also got your hot water bottle as well, all coming within that one. 11 99 Each one of these books, you've got all the information that you need. Um, and this hour, lots of you are going for the individuals. So you can see you've got your table runner and your placemat. And of course, you've got your fabulous little uh, box bag there. Again, using up some of those scraps, maybe. This is the one where you've got your um, tablet co um, cover or purse. Then, of course, you've got your roll-up bag which could be knitting needles could be paint brushes and of course you've got the fabulous tote bag that we saw earlier and the final one being your bargello and your lap quilt if you're wanting to go for all of them then we have got the details at the bottom for your book with them all in there but if you want your individual details are on your screen there perfect so we've stitched that one now you have to trim your threads as you go okay. because when I flip this over I could potentially get those threads caught in my next quilting okay. and this is the back we want it to be nice and neat um, normally I wouldn't bother because it's going to be sandwiched between layers yes. but because we're quilting as we go you want to trim off your threads lovely now placing this back taking out finger press don't okay. bother pressing right. because you might stretch your fabric okay. um, just a nice little finger press is, is all you need like so nice already beautiful oh, hexagon effective now you would instantly think to yourself oh, this is the one I'm going to do next mm, yeah. no it's oh. not don't do it okay. go to the left always to the left to the left to the left, to the left. always make <laughs> sure as well you've got the instructions and this is why it's important yes. because the picture would show you instantly wouldn't it exactly you haven't even got to read the words you can look and you think all oh, right okay to that side and it's another one where if you keep doing it wrong you can just write on the other page yes, yeah. to the left to the that's left. it um, so <laughs> maybe get a little highlighter or something yeah exactly like that. so that's that's really handy mm. so taking my next fabric again going to that point and taking that fabric right across here and I'm going to okay. stitch all of that again so pinning that if you just remember every time to the left okay you'll be fine you might you could write it on your hand you could take a big star on yeah. that hand to this so one I'll just stitch this one and again you're just using those off cuts might be that you've had another project maybe you've gone for those um, pinwheels the strip pinwheels earlier on you've got those little bits that are left over don't ever throw those away because as long as they are uniform width then you can be creating with these because you'll see that the first few pieces are exactly the same length but they're what you technically would call scraps of fabric um, and of course you can make them up your scraps into usable pieces and make your own strips as time goes on if you wanted to as well so again trim if you've got one a lovely machine that cuts the thread for you there that's ideal but mine doesn't okay, do that so so now you'll see on the reverse oh yes how those lines meet yeah now that I wouldn't have been able to do that if I wasn't following the line of the fabric yes, yeah so it's perfection absolute spot it's on. spot on so now we turn it over okay. always put it back so your first one is at the top because then you're always remembering to go round good point so opening that one up and finger pressing already you can see 
it looks beautiful. I love those colours. Now you don't have to trim off this bit that's underneath. No. Oh, okay. well, I mean, you can. You totally that's can. Point, really. But what's the point? Because yeah. you're not actually going to go over that again with anything else. Okay. There's not. Not. There's only that bit. Yeah. You know, two extra, two layers. Um, it really is absolutely fine. If you're doing um, like a crazy with effect, a crazy patch, yeah. Trim off. Okay. because you're going to end up with bulk yes uh, but with this it's absolutely fine you can see it's lovely flat and especially if you use a pressing mat afterwards and press this you've got no bother at all now from what you've said i know that i'm going to the left yes so this is the next piece that's it's going to go it. in the face and it's always to the corner okay i love it this is it's one of those so ones easy, isn't it? satisfying a friend of mine was referring to something a little while ago. She said it's mindful sewing. That's well, what do you mean mindful sewing? It's something that you don't really have to think about. Yes. A breakaway project. You might have another project that you're having to concentrate on. Maybe it's a cross stitch pattern, or maybe it's a larger quilt. You're really having to think and concentrate. But you want something that you just want to relax and just kind enjoy. Of, yeah. Enjoy mindful the stitching, stitching again. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Because with this, you're not really cutting. You're. You're just using your two and a half inch strips yeah. so you've and you've prepared them you've cut them already and then it's just a case of laying them out or oh, just put that around the right way and okay. um, we're busy again now for that bumper bundle so if you're wanting to go for the complete collection you've got 11 patterns in there all those individuals that we spoke of in that bumper book look at that all jam full of fabulous it's patterns. jam full it is jam full and you've got everything in there so you've got the patterns you've got the templates all the photographs there's nothing extra in here um, you're not lost anything for it all going together and of course you've got the fabulous templates to help you on your way as well um, it is proving to be popular again during this out 75 pounds saving because each one of these if you are looking um, at a pattern being um, well around a tenner you're looking at 30 pounds worth of patterns in one of those so you're looking at 110 worth pounds worth of patterns in there but that's not what you're paying you are paying 44 pounds and 88 pence to get them all in one go Two flexi buys. One thing I will say to you is, with flexi buy, if you are thinking about getting the um, a couple of those patterns at eleven ninety nine, bear in mind that flexi buy there is twenty two forty four. So if you're going to go for two sets, maybe you're going to go for um, the placemat that we're working on at the moment. Maybe you fancy having a little go at the bargello. Maybe those are the two that you're thinking of. Well, that's going to cost you. Well, you're looking at what twenty six pounds more or less, aren't you, with regards yeah. to that? Yeah. But. It's going to be less than that with your flexi buy. Your flexi buy is just twenty two forty four, and you will get all of them. So you're actually paying out less than you anticipating today, but you are getting all eleven of those patterns. That's yeah. worth it. Yeah, and that's a, that's a project a month up till the new year now, exactly, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. So it's, you've got something. You've got yeah. something to do every month with all your bits and pieces. You're going to fight. You're going to see fabrics throughout the year, and you're going to go all for that. I mean, I've got that. Put it in your planner. Put it in your planner. Mm -hmm. Oh, amazing. But look at the back of this again. So we've now we've stitched this line. You can see how lovely, lovely that's come, come together. together. Really Pinwheels nice. would be good for this as well, wouldn't they? Completely. Because the fabric is so yeah, pretty. Completely. Yeah. Um, and then you just go carry on again to the left. Okay. You can move it round. <laughs> I'm not going to watch Once you. Once you get into the swing of it, you, you get to know. As soon as you put a few of those in place. Um, Abby, I've had a fabulous hour. Me too, Amy. Always love working with you. So inspirational, especially with your fabulous patterns. And everything Thank you, you very much. Well. So, yeah, I do When are we expecting patterns. you back again? Do we know? Have we got a date yet? First of February. Oh, I say. I've got something special. <gasps> She's got a gleam in her eye. Something special. I'm putting a ring around my cat. I'm going to put mm -hmm. it in my planner. My planner oh, yeah. that's down there mm -hmm. on the counter. Yeah. That's what you need that for. Abby, thank you so much. Thanks, Looking forward to 1st of February. Put a big ring around there. You need to be here watching our lovely Abby because uh, when she brings something good, she brings something good. Now, if you've got anything in your basket, now is the time to check out your baskets. We've got another fabulous show coming up straight after the break, so do make sure you stay tuned. But before that, we have got a little bit of information. We've got our fabulous Alex and Paul coming up in a few minutes.